So we're here in Onshape, let's take a look at creating a basic drawing. So we've made our parts, we've made an assembly, now we're going to click the plus and we're going to go ahead and click Create Drawing. And we're just going to do the standard template that comes up. Um, they, have a, they have a lot of options here. Um, okay. Uh, here we have it. So we're going to go ahead and create and uh, select the top component here. Uh, notice that we can see by the outline that this is not the one that we want. Okay, so this would be the, um, you know, it just selects the, the front view. In our case, we didn't uh, use the front plane. You know, we want to choose the view that has the most detail as our, our front view here. So in our case, it's the top, okay, view orientation. So we're going to go ahead and choose a good uh, good spot for it there that we think is going to kind of fit with all of our uh, um, dimensions. And we're going to click. And then we're going to go ahead and create a projected view. So we're going to move up and click again. Okay. Uh, after that, we have to we have to get the projected view ourselves. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Uh, sometimes it exits the tool there, but we're still in it. So there we go, or the second projected view. And click one more time. And we're going to go ahead and bring it up to the top there um, for our final view. Okay, so um, let's take a look at what we have to do here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start adding in dimensions. We're going to you know, do our best to, uh, to follow dimensioning guidelines. Uh, if you catch any mistakes, please let me know in the comments, um, which I'm sure you will. So... <laughs> Okay, so uh, I mean, this is just a basic drawing, so it, hopefully I'm not going to make too many mistakes. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out of the auxiliary or the projected view uh, tool. We're going to notice that here it doesn't all by default show hidden lines, and we want to show these on our projected views. Sorry, are not our projected views. Our um, yeah, our projected views. We're going to right click and click uh, show hidden lines. And then we're going to right click over here and show hidden lines again. Okay, so the front, top, and right views. Top and right views, we're going to have uh, hidden lines in this case, which are the dotted lines. Um, in addition, we want to treat this hole in a special manner here. So, so basically, we want to have a center mark. So here is the center mark right here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead um, and just um, notice we have to click the circle itself and it's going to give us that center mark. We're also going to add in a two point center line. So we go from one side to the other. And then we're going to go from the top to the bottom of the circle. And that gets us our center line there. Okay, let's start in with our dimensions now. Um, and remember, we want to dimension on the view that has the most detail, right? That it shows the best view. We want to stay away from hidden lines. Uh, when we uh, place our dimensions, we want to, when possible, put them between views that show, uh, that show um, so we want to put them in the space between uh, the different views um, to show the relationship between the views. Um, when possible. But sometimes there are conflicting rules, which I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so we want to, don't want to do, um, uh, we don't, um, we want to put our dimensions from one side, not chain them together. Uh, so let's go ahead from one side, the side of the um, rectangle. Uh, and our first thing here is to the center of the, um, the circle. And we're going to come up and uh, click again to place. Uh, we're just going to stay in the dimensioning tool. Click on this left click on the side of the rectangle. And we're going to go ahead and click on the left hand side of the square and go up to place. Move up and click to place. Now instead of clicking from one side of the square to the other, we're still just going to reference uh, the, the left hand side of the, the outer rectangle. And we're going to click on the left, the left side, click on the right side of the square move up to place. Okay, and then finally we're going to click on the left hand side of the rectangle on the far side of the rectangle. And click, move up to place, and then we're going to go ahead and place our um, our final dimension there. Okay, um, we're going to do the same thing um, going um, for the vertical space. So we're going to go ahead and um, go from the um, go from the bottom side here up to the bottom side of the uh, square. Move out and click to place. 
we're going to go from the bottom of the rectangle up to the center point of the um, of the uh, hole and move out and click to place. Okay, now we have our first problem, right? So, so we're trying to put it between the two views, but it crosses over and causes a problem with this square. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kind of, we have to violate one rule, right? So we're gonna move, go ahead and move this out to a space not between the two views uh, to make it more clear. Okay, we're gonna continue dimensioning. We're gonna go from the top bottom of the rectangle to the top of the square and move it out. And then we're gonna go from the bottom of the rectangle to the top of the rectangle and go ahead and move it out. Okay, um, we're gonna treat the hole a little bit differently, the round hole a bit differently. So we're gonna go ahead and um, and we're gonna change the type of dimension. Notice there are quite a few types of dimension here. We're gonna create a diameter dimension. We're gonna click on this hole and move it out. Uh, it is worth, and click to place, it is worth being said that uh, that on shape will, uh, will if you, um, if you created a hole with the whole tool, it does give you the ability to, to uh, place that data a little bit more automatically. Um, but since we use the um, extrude tool to do this, um, it's not gonna do that for us. So, okay, so let's get out of the tool for just a second. We're gonna go ahead and double click on this dimension and we're gonna add the word through um, to show that the hole goes, oops, uh, the word through. Okay, uh, so that uh, circle is fully dimensioned. Okay, now can you see which one we're missing? So we have we have quite a bit of them uh, all ready to go. Hmm, which one are we missing? <laughs> okay, so the one that we're missing is we're actually missing two. So uh, let's go ahead and get uh, the dimension uh, tool again, and we're going to go ahead and get the thickness of the. Um, And we need to change the dimensioning type to dimension. And we're gonna go ahead and get the thickness of the, um, of the part here. We're actually gonna put it over here, just, just, to, um, just to make everybody angry. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go down and get the bottom one as well. Okay, so there we have it. There's a basic drawing in Onshape. Uh, best of luck.